Hello everyone, it's Brendan. What I've got for you today is another video on how to solve quadratic equations, particularly how to solve them by factoring. So remember, a quadratic equation is any equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c represent numbers, and x is a variable. Normally it's set equal to zero, and what you're trying to do when you solve quadratic equations or factor is find the values of x which make this equation true. Now, there's two different types of problems that you want to focus on. One is the case where a is not equal to zero, so this might just be something like x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals zero, or maybe something like x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to zero. And what we can see here is the coefficient on the x squared term is not equal to one. I think I said zero earlier, it's in fact one. Um, so when the a squared, or the coefficient on the x squared term is equal to one, all you need to do is you need to find a number that multiplies to this value, but adds to this value. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to our c term but add to our b term. So in this case, we want to find two numbers that multiply to 5 and add to negative 6. So if I look at 5, the factors of 5 are only 1 and 5, or it could be negative 1 and negative 5. Now if I take negative 1 and negative 5 and I add them together, uh, that would in fact add to negative 6. So when this factors, it factors as x minus 1 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. Once we have that, we can further solve the equation to determine that x is either equal to 1 or x is equal to 5. And that's it. That's how we would solve that problem. Another example over here, it needs to add to 7 and multiply to 12. So if I take the factors of 12, those would be 1 and 12, those don't add to 7. 2 and 6, those also do not add to 7. Or 3 and 4. Now positive 3 and positive 4 do add to 7. So what this becomes is x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 0 when we factor it. And then we take each of these factors individually and we set them equal to zero. So we could have x plus three is equal to zero, which would give us x equals negative three, or x plus four is equal to zero, which would give us x equals negative four. And this is true because if x plus three equals zero, zero times anything is gonna be zero, or if x plus four equals zero, zero times anything is going to equal zero. So we have x equals negative three or negative four. And that's the simple case. That's the case where a is equal to the 1. In the next video, I'm going to describe how you factor when a is not equal to 1.